everyone, this is Rachel, and I'm here with another edition of Get Sketchy with Christy and Rachel. This is the sketch we're using. It's from Bella Boulevard, designed by Diana Fisher. And right off the bat, you're going to see I'm only going to be using one photo rather than the two that are in the sketch. Now, I'm using my Scraptastic kit, the Feels Like Home kit from November 2015. This will be the last video you'll see from this kit before I do my Kill a Kit video. I can do one more layout with it, but I'm not going to film it. Now, one thing I do that is quite different with this layout is in the sketch, the lay, uh, that big block of pattern paper goes all the way to the top, but I decided to move it down to the top third of the page instead. To my eye, it just looked better with the pattern papers I was using. Now that pattern paper is a Scraptastic exclusive, and then I'm also using this diagonal stripe paper, which is from the Pebbles DIY Home collection by Jen Hadfield, and this wood grain paper, which is from October Afternoon, and I don't know if you just noticed, my cat just totally stole a piece of paper off my desk. I didn't notice that until I started watching this back. Okay, sorry, Tandy. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this diagonal paper, and then the same thing with the chevron tone-on-tone -tone pink dotted paper. That is also from a Jen Hadfield collection, but it's from the Cottage Living collection, not the DIY Home collection. So once I get all of these cut out, and all I do is put a slice down the middle and then knead it up at, from each corner. I'm not, I like it to be nice and neat, but I'm not super killer about it. I just, as long as it looks okay, I'm good with it. So now I'm just gonna play around with these banners and see if I, can get them to a spot where I actually like the way it looks. And at the same time I'm making this layout, I'm also cooking dinner. So I'm going to step away to finish making dinner in just a second. And you'll see when I come back, my cat has taken a chomp out of one of my pieces of paper. And I'm a little annoyed with her. So... <laughs> What I'm going to do is start inking up things, and then I look, look, she bit my paper. Grrr, kitty. So I'm inking everything up with Hero Arts wet cement. No, I'm sorry, it is not wet cement, it is charcoal. So once I do that, I start gluing all my papers together, and you'll see I split that upper one to stretch it out, because I had used it to Okay, so what I, sorry, my voiceover stopped working for a second. So what I was saying was that I had used that, uh, it's a light blue tiny polka dot, and I had used it, I would used the other side, and I'd cut it down so I could use it, uh, so I could put a border around a layout. So I just needed that polka dotted chevron paper to hide the fact that the other one wasn't a 12 by 12. Sorry, that was a very long explanation for a very simple idea. <laughs> So I have these laid out the way I want, and I'm, I'm liking the look of this so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing down all of my layers. And like I usually do, what I end up doing is I just start with my top layer, and I lay glue down so I then can catch every other layer. And then once I do that, I go back and I glue the heck out of the whole thing. I am definitely one of those people who likes to use a lot of glue. I have found that when I go back and look at my older scrapbooks, I do end up having to add more glue to several of them, especially anything that has chipboard. So now I almost always just end up throwing a lot of glue down. So you're gonna see me just go at it for this whole big piece of uh, my photo block. And once I do that, I really like the way that ends up looking. And what I end up grabbing are some pop dots. And I end up just pop dotting just a couple different ends of those banners. I don't do every single one. I just do a couple. So after I do that, I'm just kind of poking through my kit, deciding what I want to use. I know I want to use that those patchwork thickers, but my I'm not exactly sure what my title is totally going to be. 
So I just am kind of poking through the sticker sets and I grabbed those two word stickers from the Simple Stories I Am collection. And then I grabbed that little asterisk to go up there as well. And I'm just checking out seeing what I actually have left on for letters in that patchwork. Because I've used that a lot. So I don't have a huge amount of letters left. I have a ton of numbers, but not a huge amount of letters. So I find a third word sticker to go up at the top. And then I decide I want to pull them down onto the middle two. Now that middle one I put down had, uh, I put down over where I had put a pop dot already, so I just added a pop dot to the other side in order to keep that sticker level. I find a third one to use and then I finally figure out what I'm going to do with my title. So I'm going to put down the word girl using the patchwork and then I'm going to finish the rest of my title using various stickers from the I Am collection and then also the L Studio. So my title ends up being Happy 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 Girl. And so I've got the L Studio for the first happy and then tile stickers from the Simple Stories I Am collection for the second happy. And then that third happy is just actually. So I go to my craft market chipboard sheet from Crate Paper and I grab that big camera. Now I had mentioned in my uh, making my counterfeit add-on kit that I really wanted to use this in one of my layouts and I was super happy that I finally got to. So I go ahead and glue that down and now I'm grabbing these label cut aparts from the simple, from the simple stories, from the Scraptastic kit, and I'm going to use those for my journaling. But before I do that, I'm just checking out the stickers once again, seeing if there's anything I want to add before I put down my journaling. And I add some of those little stars in that heart just to fill in there because it was getting a little blocked. And then because I added that camera, I wanted to bring a little black into other areas of my layout. So I put that geotag up the top and then that heart banner sticker down at the bottom. Now I really, really, really like this layout, but if there's one thing I'm not 100% super awesome excited about, it's what I ended up doing with the journaling. For some reason, when I started writing the journaling, I wrote one single line in the label sheet. And then, so I ended up having to use all four of those to finish my label stickers. And if I'd been thinking I would have just thrown away the one I did and started over with another label sticker, but for some reason it didn't dawn on me until I'd used all four of them. <laughs> I don't hate the way it ends up looking. I just don't like 100% super love it. So my journaling is about how my best friend took my niece to get her photos taken at JCPenney. And first of all, we wound up with, uh, she wound up with just tons and tons of amazing photos. Now she's taken her to JCPenney before that and since that, and they're super decent, but they're not amazing. All of these photos were just fabulous. But this photo where my niece got to put up the hood on her hooded sweater made her so happy that she got to wear her hood in her photo. This was her favorite photo. She loved this photo. This is the one photo she wanted her mom to get. So it was just very cute how excited she was about this photo that, uh, you know, out of all the ones that she got were, that were awesome. So, sorry. <laughs> I'm adding some Heidi Swap Color Shine very liberally in the gold color. And then I'm going to add some enamel dots in each of the embellishment clusters. And then that's going to do it for today's layout. Thank you guys so much for watching me today. And I hope you enjoy uh, Christy's take on this sketch. I will put a link somewhere over to her channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day, everyone. Flick me a thumbs up if you can. Bye!